Hey, I'm Ashton Atz, I'm 22, um, I'm an artist and illustrator and my pronouns are something that I'm still figuring out, it's definitely an ongoing journey but I tend to go with they or she. It's, you know, with, with me and my art, it's something that's always been like integral to my character. I don't really think I ever woke up one day and was like, oh, I'm going to be an artist, so to speak. I think, you know, as a child, I always loved drawing and, and illustrating and, and making, uh, making artwork, you know, throughout my life, really. But I think, you know, like everyone, when they get to around the age of sort of like 16, 17, you start to think, OK, I need to start tailoring, you know, my path a little bit more. I, I you know, I consider lots of things, but I knew that my my soul was really, you know, all about art and all about creativity. And yeah, I, I went to uni um, and I started making artwork in my own time. I started with a, with a series of paintings called Queer in the Quotidian, um, which was essentially a um, body of work of acrylic, um, acrylic paintings on canvas that celebrated like everyday life, um, but from a queer perspective. And um, that's where I found my style that I have today. Um, and I started experimenting with color um, and form and the characters which kind of populate my work and which is most distinctive within my work. And yeah, I guess from there um, was, was really, you know, where I got to where I am now. But as I said, art has been something that's always natural to me, something that's always been there. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's just the thing that I'm meant to do, I believe. Originally, when I started off with my paintings, um, as I said, my, my first body of work was called Crew in the Quotidian, which is where um, this painting, um, Beyond the Binary, was, you know, kind of born, or the, the idea around that was born. And, um, you know, f from there, um, I suppose, at that time of my life, around three years ago, around sort of like 2018, end of 2017, was where, you know, my, was where my art um, developed and started to take, to take shape. And around that time, I was also um, experimenting a lot with my identity, particularly, well, gender, my gender identity. Um, and I used my art as a sort of personal, tool um, to help myself uh, understand who I was better and figure out gender in a more, um, I guess, creative way, um, just by painting a world that I could see myself in and also other people who felt similar to how I did at that time. Um, and in terms of inspiration, I guess, you know, as I said, myself and the journey that I was on at that time was definitely first hand. Uh, a lot of the paintings that I was doing at that point in my life were about, you know, um, kind of finding your identity um, in terms of literally physically, you know, what sort of, um, how I wanted to present or, you know, gender expression, but also on a more um, sort of um, inner, inner level. And um, it really helped me Figure, figure things out and just explore things in a, in a sort of creative and safe way. And, you know, from that, then I was able to connect to other people in the community and by putting out my artwork in, in, in the world and starting to exhibit and use um, social media to, to, to show my work, I was then able to find other artists, um, other collectives, and just everyday people who actually have become friends since it strengthened friendships because it created dialogues through making artwork which was bold and um, you know easily said this is a queer painting um, I essentially wanted people who were queer were, were trans were non-binary um, gender fluid whatever really to, to see my work and think oh that's me like that's who I am finally there's someone in a, in a painting that's that's me I think my work, I would describe my work as um, very, very joyful. It's colourful and I think, you know, essentially my work is a celebration. Um, 
of, of lots of different types of people. I used to kind of use this um, maxim, celebrating the uncelebrated, um, because, you know, I realised that going to exhibitions and going, you know, to galleries and, and just seeing, you know, this sort of canon visual arts media, um, people who look like me or who are part of um, other communities, um, underrepresented communities or intersectional identities just aren't seen enough and aren't celebrated enough in artwork and you know I'm friends with a lots, lots of different types of people and at that time in my life when I started making my work I crossed paths with you know people that before that I hadn't even seen before you know it was like opening up a whole whole new world I guess so I think I just wanted my work to really be a mirror to a lot to lots of different types of people but Essentially, yeah, I would describe my work as, as joyful, um, empowering um, to, my, to myself and I hope to others too. Um, when I first began making my artwork, I did it specifically for really trans people and non-binary people, genderqueer people, and they are still, um, you know, at the heart of why I do my work. But Essentially, you know, I'd, I'd like all different types of people, no matter who you are, where you're from, how you identify, to feel some kind of connection to my work, for something to resonate. It could be, you know, the deeper messages, it could be just the visuals that make you, you know, feel happy or just bring a little bit of joy into your, into your day. Um, if anyone can get a positive um, response or it can spark some kind of positive emotion um, in people, then that's that's me feeling very, very um, proud and satisfied. I think, okay, I think identity is something that's very, very personal. I think that identity is, is, is fluid and I think that it's something that can change for different people at different times. I don't think that it's this fixed thing. And I think, you know, for me, I use my artwork as an outlet and a way to explore that so you know when I started I was at a different place to how I am now um, but it enabled me to, to get to this point because I think you know some people they get out their expression and they explore themselves through songwriting or I don't know exercise or you know talking to, to a friend or whatever it is you know people people get their emotions out in different ways and people express themselves in different ways but for me I think creating artwork was something that um, you know kind of mirrored my identity and it still does um, it still does now um, so within my artwork I think one of the first things that I sort of set out to do or, or told myself that was was very important was to represent all different types of people specifically with race so I think you know there was a time when I was going to a lot of exhibitions um, as a student and I was going to see lots of galleries in London and I remember looking around and I would often see like you know it's we all know that the art world is very white um, and it's, it's dominated mainly by white artists something that I always wanted to do within my work was portray different shades of brown um, you know, in within my characters. So that's something that I think is very important, that it's not just black and white, but different shades of brown in between, just to, you know, remind um, people and celebrate everyone that, you know, we are a diverse world. There's lots of different types of wonderful people here who look different. Um, well, I would say that, you know, I would like people um, going forward um, to, to know that there are people out in this world that are just like you and really at the heart of my work is just about celebrating authenticity, celebrating who you are, your heart, your soul, you know, who you want to be, how you want to present. Yeah, I mean, really my work um, in terms of legacy is, is it's, it's creating a queer topia. It really is just great creating a utopic world where I hope one day, you know, we will have. I think 
I'm quite a positive person and I think that, you know, it just takes people to just have a little bit more compassion for one another and just to be a little bit more understanding and, 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 and sort of show a little bit more love. Um, and I think, you know, we'll get there. But in the meantime, I think using, um, using imagination, using creativity to provide a little bit of an escape or an, an insight into what life could look like um, is, is something that I, I take much joy out and joy from. Honestly, um, this, this collaboration, this opportunity is something that is very, very dear to my heart. It's honestly an honor to me to be working with GCTV. Um, I worked with, with GCTV over the first lockdown, so around like March, April last year, 2020. Um, and we did this painting together um, as part of a workshop um, that I did with them online. but. You know, as I said, it's such such an honour to be working with, with GCTV and to be part of this whole thing. Um, you know, I think what they do is is absolutely incredible. Um, the amount of joy and strength and empowerment they bring to people um, by providing binders and all other types of of clothing and just giving people those affirmations to know that who they are is is enough and more. Um, you know, I think it's just it's just great it's a really lovely opportunity so yeah i'm very very happy to be working um on this on this opportunity and to be collaborating um yeah it's just a real honor thank you for having me what go ahead and draw all my outfits for me make that happen ashton i need some i need some killer kicks too i need like <laughs> low tops i need mids i need sneakers <laughs> i've got you carmen i've got you